Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Please, is there anything I can do, sir? Please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging you. I'm literally begging Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you. Please. 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 Some time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Farther troll. Meow. 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 Then it's going to be one in the wind column. One for the highlight reel, and one for the bad guy. There you go. You're going to have to say you're sorry or you're going to jail. I promise. <laughs> they refused to help me while I was in Logan County Jail and paid my bond. I think you need help in this way. You need to be what kind of help? Put in a straight jacket and take it to a loony bin. I retire as an auditor, so I'm officially done. But I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a recent live stream Chrissy, aka Boogers McGee, just did. Well, he's talking a little bit about the case. He talks about fraud at Wrangler, as always. And, I don't know, he let out a number, a four-digit number, for some weird reason. I don't have a clue what it's for, but it seems like the way he was making it sound, like he was trying to dox fraud at Wrangler. And if you watch his live stream, it's kind of weird. Besides the goofy, ugly-looking gold uh, curtains in the background, he's constantly staring to the right of himself. Like he's looking at a teleprompter. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We've got some really... Uh, I've got one in the shoot right now that I'm working on. That uh, <clears throat> is for your boy Michael Kaiser and uh, his um, his buddy, his life mate, the uh, Mead County um, government official that they're in love together, those guys. I've got a video on them. Oh, come on, just say his name. What is his name, the the official you're talking about? It's not like you're under court order to, where you can't talk about it. Oh, wait a minute. You said you were under a gag order. And what they're facing that's coming your way so that you can see it at the same time as they find out. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we're we're okay. Um, so, anyway, uh, and you, whoever trolls are in here that are watching Kaiser and his live streams where him and that Meade County official just are in love with each other and talking about how obsessed they are with Tiffany and I, you can go over and let them know that they ought to be sniping this dream. And the next one, I was thinking about taking a trip to uh, Oklahoma County, Oklahoma. That's a very good idea, Chrissy. When you travel down there, you can knock on his door and serve him with a cease and desist order. I, oh, that's, yeah, I heard that uh, Michael Kaiser lives there. I was thinking about going there to where he lives, you know, not to his house, but, you know, to go visit. Why wouldn't you want to visit Fraud at Wrangler? You know, you can knock on his door and say, hey, I'm for public safety, the guy you talk about. You know, grab a beer and sit down and talk. I'll probably visit someplace nice there, like Tropicana or something like that, like something tropical. Um, yeah, I was it 2,913 reasons. Chrissy boy, don't you think that's kind of a cowardly move? to dox somebody or their doxter family. I mean, like, come on. Why would you stoop so low? I mean, I understand it's you and you would do something like that, but why would you have to stoop so low? If you really hate him that much, sue him. Take him to court. And then if you if you win, guess what? You might get some money. You may not get some money. But you don't dox somebody. So, uh, yeah, anyway, so... <laughs> Uh, just saying, I thought about taking a, a little trip. But anyhow, so court uh, went very well. Um, very common for pretrial to kind of establish what's going to happen in the rest of the proceedings. So that's pretty much how it went because, and, and I did, uh, I mean, I do have that that's going to be, you know, presented to the public better later, but there's really not nothing to present. I mean, somebody like, you know, Kaiser might try to find something interesting out of a boring pretrial. 
He must have some kind of sick sexual fantasy or something like that because every word out of his mouth is Kaiser, Kaiser, Kaiser. Get over it, man. And further down in the live stream, he's just talking, oh, when we're in court, all we're going to be doing is watching Fraud at Wrangler's page, his YouTube page. Um, the judge that was on the case, all the Mead County judges recused, which, you know, is interesting, actually, because... The Meade County prosecutor is the one that affected the charges on me, and she had already recused. So, how does that work, y'all? Hey, Chrissy, what are you, scratching a flea? But anyways, on that, on that note, I'm pretty sure the Meade County prosecutor can still file charges against you. I'm pretty sure about that. I mean, they still have a job to do, am I correct? They still are a prosecutor. Does anybody know how that's supposed to work? Juan, you are one dumb son of a bitch. Who signed the PC? Yeah. Uh, well, it was the uh, complainants were um, Mead County official Scarborough and then um, one on behalf of his daughter and then uh, a friend of his named Mike, which we'll talk about more when the video comes out. You said in a previous video that you couldn't talk about it, and then another previous video there's a gag order. So, you just most likely, I would assume, broke it by mentioning his name, the daughter's name, and whoever this Mike guy is. Boy, they probably shouldn't have filed charges, because what's going to happen is their, their little scam that they're running is going to come out in the courtroom. which I'm kind of curious about how the clerks are able to continue clerking on my case. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh, oh, you got in trouble for spamming Wrangler? Well, I mean, isn't that all he does for a living is, is spam people and talk and, you know, do things to destroy other human beings? That's all he does. He don't care if they're kids or women. But isn't that what First Amendment frauders do? They use their YouTube platform, they go out and film places like post offices, uh, libraries, certain public buildings, even though they know they're not allowed to be in there, they film in there, and then when an interaction happens, they, they create the situation and say, oh, he's a tyrant, and then they post it on YouTube, and uh, their subscribers call flood and harass and send nasty emails. And when we go to court, there is going to have to be, what's going to happen in court, guys, is I don't have a choice but to bring evidence, right? And what's going to happen is we're all going to be sitting in a court of law in a different, with a different judge, probably with a different venue, and we're all going to be watching Michael Kaiser's YouTube channel. So watching his videos in court is going to prove what? People are laughing at you, making fun of you, saying jokes about you. What is it going to prove? Everybody's going to have a laugh at your expense. So you might want to reconsider doing that because you are going to make a fool out of yourself. Can you imagine watching that idiot's channel in a court of law? How disgusting they are? The things they say about women and children? The disgusting sexual innuendos that they make? Well, how about this scenario? There was a guy high on drugs, possibly, maybe drunk too. I really don't know. He made threats against his parents' lives. And, well, when the parent went to the police to put a stop to it, the police showed up. He pulled up. They ordered him out of the car. He refused. He's backed up the car. And then when they tried to get him out of the car, he took off. There was a quick chase. They brought him back, and he struck a police car and possibly a police officer. Uh, let's see, what else is there to it? And then the police ended up having to shoot him and then make videos about it and then try to give the parents hope, even though there is no hope. He did what he did, and unfortunately, he paid the ultimate price. But saying that, the prosecutor may be doing something unlawful and the police may be doing something unlawful. 
Yeah, that's what's going to be playing for hours in the courtroom because what they were doing on that channel was conspiring to affect these false charges all along. And I had it all recorded. So Kaiser, you can go run, like go take everything down off your channel and it ain't gonna matter. It ain't gonna matter because we got it all recorded and it's already on the USB drive. A few moments later. The tussle over YouTube was actually a lot more serious than that. The little prick, now I'm talking about Kaiser, the little prick, what, what actually started his little escapade in being obsessed with, with, with harassing Tiffany and I was that his dumb had gotten with Tiffany's ex-husband and shared child documents that were allegations of abuse that had already been dispelled in court. Like, well, if that's the case and that actually did happen, and I'm not saying it did or did not happen, but if it did happen, why don't you go report it? Why don't you go to the police? Why don't you get a lawyer and say, hey, what could be done? This is what was shared. This is what was said. Why couldn't you go to your lawyer? Oh, wait, you can't afford a lawyer because your GoFundMe's got taken down from what I heard. But this is what a normal, ordinary person would do. They would take the legal avenue and say, hey, what can we do? This is what happened. What can we do? But no, you would rather do YouTube drama because more drama arguments creates more clicks and views for your channel. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And you don't want to watch all of it. It'll make you throw up. He even, even Kaiser, you know, he gets all jacked up on dope and he throws up in his mouth on the live streams. Dead serious. I know he can't really sue you because what do you have? I mean, we saw what the outside of your house looks like. We saw the eve of your house and it's all OSB with latex paint on it. And unfortunately, there's really no value in it because it's fallen apart. But you better be careful when you start talking like this and accusing him of murder and doing drugs. Unless you have 100% proof or you have videos of it, you could be sued for defamation. And like I said, if he tries to sue you, he's actually going to end up losing in the long run because if he wins, he's still lost because what is he going to get from you? To sit there in courtroom wearing very formal, informal, is it formal? Yeah, formal clothes with professional people for someone who claims to be an international businessman you have no clue what formal informal dress attire means and it's costing a ton of money and <laughs> i a ton of money that i didn't have and of course they know that you know they love making fun that we didn't have 30 or 40 thousand dollars set aside for legal purposes well who would have 30 or 40 thousand dollars set away for legal purposes I don't have that set away for legal purposes. Do you good people? Because we don't break the law, so we don't need to worry about that kind of stuff. But if you're constantly breaking the law and doing illegal stuff, you probably wouldn't need to worry about having some kind of funding for it. it it's possible that they could somehow make it where I don't walk scot-free, but there's no way, there is no way that they can pin me with the charges. No way. So if, in fact, I get anything out of this, and I'm talking about 11 charges, two felonies, if if I don't walk completely with dismiss, 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 then it only could be dirty courtroom. That's the only way that could happen, and I don't think it will. Now, did you guys hear that, that last statement? It sounds like he's trying to lay the groundwork for a kangaroo court. And I'm not saying the courtroom is going to be a kangaroo court. It's got, He's trying to lay the foundation so he could use that as his narrative to say, oh, I was found guilty on this charge. I was found guilty on that charge. Well, dirty jury, dirty judge, dirty DA. Everybody's dirty that goes against him. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed the show. Remember to like, share, and most importantly, helps me out a lot, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Obviously, Captain Happy got a ranch who's a troll. It doesn't only apply for the Second Amendment. It also applies for the First Amendment. I have constitutional carry for this camera. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. If you want to know what I'm doing here, I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Oh, man. <laughs> I cannot handle this no more. <laughs> this is bull. Yo.
I can't even take it. Oh, <laughs> man, this is. I can't even handle it. No more. So the time has come. Something happened that I never thought would happen, to be quite honest. Could you briefly tell us what the Third Amendment is? That's the walk of shame. You need to remember what you swore to protect. And my voice is terrible today. Who has a YouTube channel? It's not me, by the way. So, right. this other gentleman, he's been getting in fights and altercations. He's been arrested. Other people have been arrested. And what's going on is this guy who lives in Evans Mills mm -hmm. keeps going to down to this bar, egging on the people down there, recording them going live, mm. and it continues every single. Day. Hand to hand combat. Come on, let's go. You sure? Yeah, sure. You ain't gonna do it. Nah, come on, You're all talk. Come on. You're all talk, buddy. Come on. They are suing me for five million dollars. Caught crabs once. I've had crabs a few times. That I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started. Boston out laughing, and I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. Come on. You're just a little guy. You're just a little guy. You're gonna come to find out that it's gonna be one in the win column, one for the highlight reel, and one for the bad guy for playing by you. Grandma got a mouth. Wow. A little too much accelerant. <laughs> it's Captain Happy. God damn it. I left the camera. I left the camera. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Why? Why? Why are you recording? Because <laughs> you look weird. I look weird? Do I look weird? You look creepy. I look creepy. Yeah, so don't worry. Don't worry. It's hard worry. to You're get good. on you. And, and to get subs. Trust me, I, I know it's hard. But 17K, like even though, yeah, it's fantastic, it's great. If you have four arrests for 17K, not worth it, not that great of an accomplishment. I'm letting everybody know because of all the backstabbers to like Delete Law, James Freeman, Lackluster, and all the people that made tons of money off of my videos. When did you see Superman say, for Superman safety? When did you see Superman say that? I retire as an auditor, so I'm officially done. I used to say that like I owned a franchise, I owned a Papa John's franchise.